world champion Ben Keeter. How does that sound? Amazing, man. It's something you dream of since you're a little kid, man. When you start the sport, that's what you're thinking of. World champion. I am world champ, so it's, it's unreal to say that. Quick match for you. Take it through, a, yeah, take us I through mean, it. <laughs> I don't know, I just try to use my folk style background. I mean, they don't have some folk style, we do. They're not used to bar arms, I am, so. Put the bar arm in, almost like Spencer Lee tilt, kind of, and I just tried to roll through, and he couldn't defend it. And then I uh, it bro broke my lock, and I came around, and I just knew, especially in that first match I got it, and he, he didn't know how to fight it, and uh, so I figured this guy wouldn't know how to fight it either, so I just went around and did it, and honestly thought I had him pinned a lot longer than what it was, but. I don't know, man. Just super excited. You're not an emotional guy, I would say. You know, to celebrate a lot. Maybe you let out to a lot of emotion yeah. uh, after that match. Where did that come from? I don't know, man. It's just, it's just unbelievable. I mean, if you would have told me a year ago today, told me a year ago that I'm a world champ, I would have been like, you're freaking crazy, man. It's just, it's just unreal. It's just, I, I put so much work into this and for it to. Uh, come to truth, I guess you could say. It's just, it just makes me feel so good inside. I'm just uh, super grateful for my family. They give me these opportunities. I have the best support system in the world. I mean, I have the greatest wrestling place on earth, but I mean, besides that, I just, best fans in the world. I have so many people texting me and just reposting stuff. And I have so much support. So, I mean, it's almost hard to go out there and let those people down. I mean, yeah, I'm not thinking about it because it's just me out there, but. I mean, yeah, I just have the best sports system in the world. I'm so thankful for it. I'm, I was going to say, I'm sure you came in with high expectations, or at least the expectation to win, but did you surprise yourself at all at this tournament? Uh, not really. I mean, those, uh, like I said, uh, yesterday I got pretty tired in those first two matches, and I just need to push through those. But, I mean, you come to this, you expect to win. Period. That's it. You just you come here, expect to win, go home, and that's that. And that's what I did, so... Do you practice that, you know, bar and see still as like basically a trap on or really just uh, No, just normally the tilt. I mean, it's basically the same thing. You got a bar and you can't post. So you just go and he wasn't giving me a feel one way, so I went the other. He couldn't stop it. And then vice versa. But it was just, I just, and I was, I was honestly kind of a little worried once I broke my lock. And then I just heard Coach Green step to the side and go over. And that's what I did, man. It worked out. You got a teammate going for gold tomorrow. What advice would you give him? Have fun, man. Let it fly. It's never get this moment again, so just leave it all out there. We're loose. Everybody in the U.S. loves you. And just let it fly and have fun. Congratulations. Yeah. Bobby Telfer, I'm the baddest man on the planet. Yeah.